Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mindful Morning Weekend Yoga. I am Jessie Mahoney, and this is our weekly offering as part of the Mindful Healthcare Collective. So welcome. As usual, please make sure that you do what works for you and modify as needed. All of the suggestions that I make are suggestions and cues that are optional. And part of yoga is learning what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And as you get to know yourself better and show curiosity without judgment, you learn about what feels right for you. So I invite you to take a seat on your mat, a comfortable seat. If you have a block or a bolster, place that underneath you and ground your hips into the block or your seat and grow your spine long and tall towards the sky. Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky and take in a deep inhale. And a deep exhale. So today I wanted to talk about buoyancy. And as you ground and settle into your mat and find grounding here underneath you, I wanted to offer that there's also a possibility of feeling buoyant in this moment. Buoyancy was a concept that came up in a coaching session with a client this week. And she wanted to feel buoyant and begin to experience life from a more buoyant place. As we explored this idea of buoyancy, it was the idea of calm and confidence and perhaps resilience, but without the pressure of resilience, buoyancy has a lightheartedness and a compassion to it. So as you sit here in this moment on your seat, ground your sit bones into the earth and inhale deeply into your chest, fill up your chest with air and a huge exhale of the heaviness and the things that weigh you down. A deep inhale into your chest and a huge exhale. And see if you can allow a little bit of buoyancy within you. I see yoga as an opportunity to grow your mind and your body. Coaching is about growing your mind and your body. And as you may notice week to week, I infuse these concepts such as buoyancy to help you grow your mind and your body. And buoyancy is part of your mind and your body. So how can you create buoyancy today and explore buoyancy on your mat? And after this session, bring buoyancy out with you into the world. So as you sit on your mat, just take in a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and focus on how you might be able to tap into buoyancy today. Can you use your breath to fill up your chest with more air to help you float, float and balance and be resilient? And can you let go of any heavy bricks that are weighing you down? Buoyancy comes with an inner strength. It's when you stop pushing the beach ball underneath the water, it comes back up and it's buoyant and it floats with ease. When you let go of the bricks and the stories and the inner tension in your mind and your body, you have more buoyancy in your spirit. When you show up with alignment, you're more buoyant. And buoyancy is not forced, it's just allowing. It also doesn't mean that there aren't waves, tidal waves, ripples, challenges. It just means that when they happen, you recover more quickly. 
So once again, take in a deep inhale into your chest and a huge exhale. And another deep inhale into your chest and a big exhale. And sit here and breathe for a few moments, growing that space in your chest. And I'm just going to check one quick thing. And make sure I'm guessing there's something wrong with the Zoom link this morning. So hopefully people are able to find me in the Facebook group and I apologize for what that might be. And I will post this afterwards for anyone who is not able to find it on YouTube. So once again, settle into your seat on your mat. Bring your left hand to your heart, press into that heart space. Press your right hand atop the left. Take a deep inhale into your chest. And a huge exhale. Press in once again into that heart space. Send a little bit of oxytocin to the rest of your body. Notice it in your fingers and your toes. And perhaps in that space behind the heart. In your hands to heart center, press your palms together, fingertips together, press your thumbs into your sternum. And for a moment, focus on your intention, your wish or your aspiration for this moment. How can you create more buoyancy, lightness, ease, calm, confidence, strength within, on the mat here today, and off the mat as you head out into the world after class? Slowly lower your hands to your thighs. Open your eyes, let the light back in. And once again, focus on your chest. I wanna take a moment and focus on the breath here in this moment. And if with your eyes open, just take a look at the screen. And I have something here called a, a Hoberman Spear. And we're gonna use it to help with the breathing. So as I open the sphere, you'll inhale. And as I close it, exhale. Breathe in, fill up your lungs with, lung, with air as slowly as you can and as full as you can. And exhale, let it go. Inhale deeply, fill up your lungs with air. And exhale, let it go. Another deep inhale into your chest, fill up your lungs. And exhale, let it go. Last deep inhale, slowly fill up the lungs completely, just like the sphere. And let it go. Allow your breathing to come back to normal and just notice how you feel now. Is there any more spaciousness in your chest? And now take in a deep inhale into your chest and another inhale sip and another inhale sip and let it all go. Take in another deep inhale of abundance. More of a sip more of a sip and a huge exhale. Once again, deep inhale into your chest. Another sip, another sip, fill up fully and let it go. 
and allow your breath to come back to normal. Notice how you feel. Any tingles in your fingers, your toes, perhaps your shins, your thighs, perhaps your ears. And we'll try one more kind of breath. Just notice how the breath nourishes, heals, and restores. And how you can use it to let go of what doesn't serve you and what you no longer need. So this time, breathe in like you're smelling beautiful spring flowers. And breathe out like you're blowing out your birthday candles. Breathe in like you're smelling the roses. And out like you're blowing out your birthday candles. Last breath. Breathe in like you're smelling the flowers slowly. And out like the birthday candles. And then take a moment to just sit. You may notice different sensations. You may feel a little weird with the deep breaths. And just allow yourself to be here. Allow things to recalibrate. We often don't take time to recalibrate in our days. So allow yourself a few moments to literally just be. Not waiting for our Shavasana or waiting for a better time, but right here, right now. A moment to just be. And a moment to notice, do you feel lighter in your chest? Is there more spaciousness? Might you be a bit more buoyant, responsive? Might the recovery be a little more easeful? Might you respond with more grace and compassion from this space? When you feel ready, Inhale both arms up towards the sky, palms face one another. Exhale them out wide, directly towards the side walls. Flex your fingers, point your fingertips up towards the sky. Press those palms into the side walls, engage every muscle in your arms. A buoyancy comes from strength, strength to push those side walls away. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, arch your spine, suck your navel in and wrap your arms around like a huge beach ball in front of you. Exhale, straight your arms out towards the side, slight arch to the back. Inhale, round your spine, tuck it towards the sky. And exhale, arch and stretch out wide. One more, grab that buoyant beach ball, hug it in towards your chest, absorb all the energy in the space. And exhale, reach your arms out wide. Flex your palms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower them towards the floor. Inhale, reach your palms up towards the sky. And exhale, lower them towards the floor. Inhale, reach them up towards the sky. Squeeze your fists. Open your fists. Starburst hands here, squeeze and open fast as you can. Use the fingers to let go. Send out tension, stress, frustration, out through the fingers. Let it go to allow yourself a little bit more space to be buoyant. Flick things away. Notice the energy in the arms. It's not easy, but you're letting it go with intention, with purpose. And lower your arms. Shake the shoulders out. Shake your wrists out. Roll your shoulders back three times and forward three times. Once again, pause. Notice how you feel here. Take the block out from underneath you or whatever you might be sitting on, pillow, blanket, whatever it might be. Extend your legs out long in front of you. We're gonna come into Dandasana or Staff Pose, which may look just like sitting, 
but it's a very much a strength pose and a buoyancy pose. There's a lot of chest lightness to it. So ground your sit bones into the earth. Rock side to side, move the flesh of your seat out of the way. Leave your knees gently bent since we're still at the beginning of class. Flex your toes towards your nose. Tilt your pelvis forward gently, grow your spine and the crown of your head towards the sky. Drop your fingers behind you. Inhale deeply into your chest, fill up with air. And exhale, press your knees gently towards the floor. If it works for you, puff your chest out. Inhale deeply into the chest, press your fingertips into the earth, chest puffs forward. Exhale, let it go. Toes flex towards your nose, even if your knees are bent. Deep inhale into the chest space behind the heart. Fill that up with buoyant air and let go of whatever stuck or heavy there. One more deep breath here in Dandasana. Everything's engaged. Your muscles should be tiring. And let it go. Relax your arms, relax your legs. Take your feet, draw them behind you and we'll come to me in hands and knees here. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. Tabletop, flat spine, crown of the head, reaches forward, head and neck are in line with your spine. Take a moment to ground here, very strong. Engage your core, strong. Tops of the feet press into the earth. Notice your strength and notice with the stability of the earth underneath, how you are somewhat buoyant here. Extend that right leg long behind you. Toes ground into the earth, heel is flexed. Inhale, raise your heel an inch or two up, just under hip height. Hips are square and even. Exhale, focus on your core for strength. Inhale, raise your left hand long in front of you. Press into your heel, through your fingertips long. Notice yourself buoyant here, tipping perhaps with any instability and coming back to center. Deep inhale into your navel space. And exhale, let it go. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your elbow to knee underneath you. Notice any wobbling. Exhale, reach long. Inhale, bring your knee to elbow. Fill up your chest, exhale, reach long. Notice your buoyancy here. Inhale, elbow to knee, exhale, reach long. It takes strength and spaciousness. Lower your left hand, lower your right knee, come back to tabletop. Extend your left leg long behind you, toes ground into the earth, heel is flexed. Inhale, raise your foot an inch or two just below your hip height. Hips are square towards the floor. Exhale, focus on your navel. Inhale, reach your fingertips long in, in one direction, heel long in the other direction. Strength and stability in any tippiness here. Deep inhale into the chest. Exhale, let it go. Another deep inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee here. Inhale, lengthen. Notice that we're doing the breath differently on this side and which one might work better for you. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, fill up with air and float. Exhale, elbow to knee, let things go. Inhale, fill up with air and float. Notice you, the use of your navel and your core and all of your muscles to keep yourself strong and stable to help you float. Lower your left, right hand and left knee, come back to tabletop. Walk your hands forward to handprint, curl your toes and we'll push up into downward dog. Take a moment here, once again, to find yourself, ground yourself, and allow yourself to be buoyant here. Easeful, calm, confident. Ground both palms into the earth, strong arms, elbows extended, hips reach skyward. 
Lift up onto your tiptoes, heels reach towards the sky. Slowly lower your heels towards the earth. Notice all the sensations in the backs of the legs. Deep inhale and huge exhale. Another deep inhale and huge exhale. Slowly walk your hands back towards your feet, come into a forward fold. Knees will be bent, feet ground into the earth. Take your hands, clasp your elbows, and allow your head and neck to release completely. Notice all the sensations. Sway into your toes and into your heels. Sway towards the right and towards the left as if you're floating on a pond. Take your hands, bring them to your sacrum, re-clasp them there. Extend your fists, extend your elbows, and allow your fists to fall towards the front of the mat, over your head and neck. And notice the release in the front of the shoulders, letting stuff go there. Part of buoyancy is letting go of the tightness and the tension and the bricks and the old stuff. Notice it, send the breath there, and let it go. Bend your Left knee straight the right, twist towards the right gently. Bend the right knee straight the left and twist towards the left gently. And come back to center. Allow the hands to fall over the head and neck towards the front of the mat once again. A little bit more release. Use the breath to fill yourself up with support and nourishment and let all that tension go. Bring your hands back to your sacrum. Allow them to run down the backs of your legs. Engage your belly and slowly roll up to stand. Head will be the last to rise. Vertebrae by vertebrae, take your time. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Draw them towards the back of the mat and allow them to fall towards the floor, palms open to the front. Deep inhale into that chest space, especially the spot behind your heart. And exhale, let it go. And just pause here. Notice any tingling, lightness, what feels different. Ground your feet into the earth, grow tall through your spine, all the way to the crown of your head and towards the beautiful sky. Drop your shoulders, palms open, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Lift up all 10 toes and lower them down. Shift your weight into your toes and into your heels, and to the right, and to the left. Find your center. Notice your buoyancy, resilience, ability to course correct with ease. Not with boundaries and pushing things away, but with curiosity and compassion. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky, palms together, slight arch back. Hold forward, forward fold towards the earth. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, hands come to earth. Walk your hands forward, come into downward dog. Hips reach up towards the sky. Pause here for just a moment. Inhale your right leg up towards the sky. Stack your hips, bend your knee on the exhale. Roll the ankle in one direction and then the other. In the opposite direction. Straight your right leg, square your hips, press your heel into the back wall and bring your right foot in front of you. Come up into warrior two this time. Cartwheel the arms open. Wiggle those right toes in front of you. Bend the right knee. Make sure it doesn't bend beyond the ankle. Back foot is pigeon toe towards the right, right, left front corner of the mat. Deep inhale. Warrior two is a strong pose and a light pose. Exhale, sink into the hips. Bend the front knee. Inhale, fill up your chest, especially that spot behind the heart. And exhale, sink into it. Deep inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale. On the exhale, raise both arms up towards the sky. Twist your hips to face front. Step the back foot forward gently. And we're going to come directly to warrior one from here. So hips twist towards the front of the mat. Right toe is jetline towards the front of the mat. Back to foot, move forward about a foot for comfort. Back heel presses into the earth. Hips are square, tacked back. Inhale, reach tall towards the sky. Exhale, sink into the hips. Warrior one. Inhale, reach your fingertips tall. Exhale, bring your hands to your sacrum. Lower them down, clasp the fists. Extend your fists and elbows. Open your chest, breathe into that space behind your heart. And exhale, let it go. Another deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Release your hands, bring them to heart center. Press your palms together. Notice your finger pads touch. Lift up onto your back toes and shift your weight into your front foot. We're going to come forward into a pose called Tula Dandasana, our standing stick. So you're going to press off the back foot, shift into your front foot, raise your back leg up, palms pressed together for balance. If you wish, you can release your hands alongside of you. Heel is flexed towards the back wall, Tula Dandasana, or standing stick. You're floating, yet strong in the center, in the core, through that right leg, through your navel. One more breath here. Let it go. Bring your hands to heart center. Step your back foot. Come back to warrior one. Raise your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower them towards the side. Press your palms into the side wall for a moment. Inhale. Exhale, wrap your arms into eagle arms. Right comes under the left, grab your thumbs. Inhale, elbows to shoulder height. Exhale, sink into your hips, tap the right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, exhale, sink into your hips, raise your elbows slightly. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink a little bit more, just notice. One more breath here. If you wish to lower your chin into the cradle of your arms, you can notice all the sensations. Create space and let go in the space between the scapula. Exhale, open your arms out towards the side walls. Lower them towards your sides. In warrior one still, roll your shoulders back three times. Legs are strong, core is strong, heart is light, chest is light. Roll your shoulders forward three times. Pause with your hands at your side. Lower your hands towards the earth on either side of that right foot. Step your back foot forward. We're going to come into pyramid pose. Both legs are straight. Both legs jet line towards the front of the mat. You'll notice a big release in the back of the right leg. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown the head reaches forward. Exhale, fold forward and release completely over that right leg. Notice all the sensations. Deep breaths into the back of the right leg, into the heart space. Letting go. Allowing your heart and chest to fill with nourishing air, calm, confidence, ease. Despite the bumps, buoyancy, easeful recovery. Step that back foot forward to meet the front foot. Come into a forward fold here. Inhale, engage your belly and slowly roll up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae. Head will be the last to rise. Move so, so slowly. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. 
Draw them towards the back of the mat and allow them to fall towards the front, palms open. Deep inhale into your chest. And a huge exhale, Tadasana. Notice if you feel calm, more light, more flexible, more responsive. Strikes me that a race car, in many ways, not a race car, but an easily drivable car is responsible or, or is, is um, responsive and buoyant. Same idea, deep breath into that chest and let it go. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky, slay, arch back, fold forward, forward, fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward, fold. Step back to plank, top of the push up. Engage your core strong here, floating above the mat, above the floor. Engage your core. Notice all the strength. Any shaking or wobbling. Shift forward on your tiptoes. Bend your elbows. Bend your knees. Untuck your toes. And slowly lower down towards the earth. Chaturanga. Inhale for low cobra. Chest is open. Fill it up with the inhale. Hands are light. Exhale, lower down. Untuck your toes, bend your knees, press up through hands and knees, back to downward dog. Hips shoot up towards the sky. Take a moment here. Ground both hands into the earth, extend your elbows, hips reach towards the sky. Lift up on both tiptoes with intention, slowly lower them down. Inhale that left leg towards the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips on the exhale. Roll your ankle out in one direction and then the other. And notice, re-square your hips, extend your heel towards the back wall. Gently on the exhale, bring it between your hands. Cartwheel up into warrior two on this side. Arms reach in either direction. Wiggle those left toes far forward. It's a long stance. Both arms reach with strength in either direction. Exhale, sink into your hips, warrior two. Inhale, chest is light, spine is straight towards the sky, crown of the head reaches upwards. Exhale, sink into the hips. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, sink. Next inhale, bring both arms up towards the sky. Twist your hips towards the front of the mat. Move that back foot forward six inches and <clears throat> towards the right front corner of the mat. Back heel presses towards the earth. Hips turn towards the front of the mat. And notice any wobbles, all part of the buoyancy. Warrior one, inhale, reach your fingertips tall and long. Exhale, sink into the hips, press the back heel towards the earth. Inhale, reach your fingertips tall and exhale, sink a little lower. One more breath here, warrior one, inhale, reach. Exhale, release your arms by your sides, bring them to your sacrum, extend, clasp your fists, extend your hands and your elbows, chest open, shoulders down and back, deep inhale into that chest space. Tuck the energy, lightness, flotation into that space behind the heart. Exhale, let go of all the bricks, all the stuck, all the too much. Inhale, breathe in nourishment. Exhale, let go of whatever you don't need, whatever's getting in the way. Last breath. Release your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, reach them out towards the side wall. Inhale. Exhale, wrap your arms into eagle arms on this side. Left arm under the right, thumbs clasped together. Inhale, elbows to shoulder height. Exhale, sink into the hips. Inhale, lift your elbows up an inch. 
Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale, lift your elbows up an inch and exhale, sink a tiny bit lower. Last breath here. If you wish to bring your chin to your chest in the cradle of your arms, do so. Notice a release in the space between the scapula. Inhale, raise your head, elbows come back to shoulder height. Release your arms towards the sides and lower them by your sides. Adjust your feet if need be. Bring your hands to heart center. Lift up onto your back tiptoe. Shift your weight into the front foot and we'll come to Tula Dandasana on this side. Lift your back foot up, tilt your torso forward, extend your heel, press it into the back wall. If you wish, release your hands to your sides. Tula Dandasana or standing stick pose. Notice you, buoyant, floating above the earth, using your strength, your confidence, your calm within to help you. Notice it's not necessarily pretty. Yoga is not about pretty. It's about learning, growing, curiosity, exploring. Bring your hands back to heart center. Drop that back foot. Lower your hands to your side. Shift forward, bring your hands to the earth on either side of that left foot. Step your back foot forward, come into pyramid pose on this side. Square your hips towards the front of the mat, both feet face towards the front of the mat. Left hip tapped back, right hip tapped forward. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold, release your head and neck towards the floor. Breathe deeply into your chest space and let it go. Another deep inhale and let it go. Send the breath to the whole back of the left leg. Any tension, tightness, send compassion, grace, and air, nourishment, release. Three more breaths here, just so allow it. Step your back foot forward to meet the front. Sink your hips back down and low, come into chair pose. Hands come to heart center here. Feet are grounded into the earth. Hips sink back down and low, palms together at heart center. Deep inhale into your chest. And then exhale. Another deep inhale. One more breath here. Strength and buoyancy. Allow your hands to fall towards the earth, knees straight and hips shoot up into a release. Exhale. Slowly, ever so slowly, engage your core and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae as slowly as you can. Inch by inch by inch by inch. Allow your head to be the last to rise. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Draw them towards the back of the mat and lower them towards the earth. Palms open towards the front. Tadasana or mountain pose. Notice if perhaps you feel like you're floating a bit here. Notice the tingling. Just allow yourself to be here in this moment. Deep inhale and long exhale. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment to connect with what's happening within. Press your thumbs into your sternum, palms together, elbows out wide. Deep inhale into the chest and exhale. Deep inhale and exhale. Lower your hands towards the sides. Open your eyes and just notice once again. Lift up onto both tiptoes. Notice any wiggles and any wobbles. Hands rest lightly at your side. 
Gently bend your knees and slowly lower down inch by inch by inch by inch. Engaging your thighs, noticing the wiggles and the wobbles and embracing them. Noticing what works and what doesn't. And if this doesn't work, you can just stay upright into the asana. Pause at the bottom. With intention, ground into the balls of your feet. Engage your belly, engage your legs. And with strength and buoyancy, rise up inch by inch by inch by inch. Notice the wiggles, the wobbles, the tips. Notice what happens. All the way up onto your tiptoes, more wiggles and wobbles, and slowly lower down. Heels touch the earth. Huge inhale and huge exhale. From here, we're going to come into dancer pose, which is a floating buoyant pose for me. And it also involves, for me, a lot of wiggles and wobbles with my ankle injury. And I do a lot of work to let go and be buoyant and allowing and responsive about it. So lift up all five toes of your left foot, lower them down. Bend your right knee, bring your right heel to your right buttocks. Take your hands around the right ankle or the right arch of the foot, whatever works for you. And notice if even here you're wobbling, grow your spine tall and long towards the sky, crown of the head reaches forward. Even your hips so they're square to the front of the mat. Inhale, the left arm up towards the sky. You can stop here if that works for you. And if you're really off balance, bring your hands to a wall. And just notice, you can notice the stretch in the front of the right thigh, any wobbling or tension in the right leg. If you wish, you can tip forward, reach your torso forward, left hand reaches forward, right foot presses into the right hand dancer pose. If that doesn't work, just stay upright. Notice what works for today. One more breath in dancer pose. Come back upright, lower the left hand to the left hip, release your right hand and come to stand. Roll your ankles out both sides. Just appreciate and notice all the sensations, whatever they might be. And any resistance to doing the right side, roll your shoulders back three times. Breathe in some lightness into your chest, strength, buoyancy. Lift up all five toes of the right foot and lower them down. Ground the four corners of the foot into the earth. Left hand grabs the left foot behind you, bends the left knee, draw the left heel in towards your buttock. Hips even towards the front of the mat. Deep inhale into the chest. Your right hand is at your right thigh. Exhale, inhale, raise your right arm towards the sky if you wish. Press the left heel towards your buttock. Right fingertips reach skyward. If you wish, tip forward into dancer pose on this side. Notice that the two sides are likely very different. We are not the same, our sides are not the same. We all respond differently. Notice here how responsive, calm, confident, light you can be in the face of the tips and the storms and the waves. Can you just adjust course correct with ease? Inhale, reach your arm back upright, torso reaches towards the sky. Exhale, right arm comes to the right thigh. Release the left foot, lower down, roll your ankle out in either Direction, shake things out. Come down slowly to a seat on your mat. Take your time. Extend your legs long in front of you once again. Rock side to side and move the flesh of your seat out of the way. Ground your sit bones with intention into the earth. Flex your toes towards your nose. Bend your knees slightly. Engage your belly here. Inhale your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, fold forward over your toes. Come into an easy forward fold. Allow your head and neck to relax for just a moment here. Huge breath into the back space between the scapula and let it go. The 
another deep inhale. Huge exhale. Walk your hands up your shins, knees, thighs. Tilt your pelvis forward, reach your chest forward. Reach both arms out in front of you, parallel to your legs. Once again, with purpose, flex your toes towards your nose. You can leave your knees gently bent, engage your core and slowly float down inch by inch, but with purpose to come to lie on the earth inch by inch by inch by inch as slowly as you can when you arrive envision yourself buoyant atop the water adjust if need be if you didn't land on your mat and allow yourself to relax for a moment as if you're doing a back float in the water let the earth or the water beneath hold you even if you bob even if the seas are rough can you allow? We talked in relationship coaching this week about accepting and allowing whatever. And this position is a position of accepting and allowing. Allow your feet to just relax towards the outer edges of the mat, palms open six inches from your sides facing the sky. Just notice. Notice how buoyant you actually already are. Flip your palms over towards the earth. Bend your knees, bring your heels towards your buttocks, reach your fingertips towards your buttocks. Ground into your feet, ground into your forearms and your hands and shoot your hips up towards the sky. Come into a bridge pose, shimmy your shoulders underneath you here. Clasp the edges of your mat, tug your mat towards the front, reaching your hips up higher, chest opens further, knees energetically connect. Deep inhale, reach the buttocks and the hip bones as high as you can, and exhale. Once again, reach those hips upward, undo the whole front side body, fill up your chest with air. Notice the spaciousness around your heart here. Release your hands, untuck your shoulders, and slowly, with intention, inch by inch, move as slowly as you can, lower your hips towards the earth. Allow them to land, untuck your shoulders, draw your knees into your chest. Give them a hug, rock side to side here. Notice all of the sensations. Take your hands to your right knee, extend your left leg long and hug that right knee into your chest. Deep inhale, fill up the chest with air. And exhale. Notice how that left leg may feel like it's floating on the water. Inhale deeply into the right hip space. Noticing any sensations and letting them go. Release the right leg, let it extend alongside the left. Draw the left leg into your chest. Give your knee a hug. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, draw it in a little bit closer. And exhale, release. Notice the right leg, the lightness in the right leg. One more inhale here, hug that left knee towards you and exhale, let it go. Extend the left leg alongside the right. Allow your hands to fall by your sides and notice how you feel. Bend your knees, both of them once again, soles of the feet on the earth. Right ankle lands atop the left knee. Thread your hands between your thighs, grab the back of the left thigh and come into figure four here. Both feet are flexed to protect the knee. You can press your right elbow into the right knee to release the outer right thigh. 
Draw the left thigh towards you gently and notice the release of the outside of the right hip and enjoy it. Deep inhale. And a big exhale. Allow your breathing to come back to normal and just notice all the sensations in the right hip. Make sure both toes are flexed. Press your right elbow into the right knee if you wish a little bit more stretch. Draw the left thigh towards you with your hands. Gently release your hands from your left thigh. Lower your left foot towards the earth. Legs remain crossed. Reach your arms above you in an easy cactus shape and allow yourself to twist to the left. So the right foot lands on the earth, outer left thigh touches the earth, left knee touches the earth side of the left knee. You're gonna come into a figure four twist here. You'll notice beautiful sensations on the right upper thigh hip glute area, perhaps the right waist. If you wish, you can turn your gaze towards the right as well. Draw your gaze back to center. Inhale, your knees back to center. Lower the right leg. Right foot to the earth. Cross your legs in the opposite direction. Left ankle atop the right knee. Bring your hands back, thread them between your thighs and draw the right thigh in towards you. Both feet are flexed. Notice the stretch in the outer edge of the left thigh. Left elbow compressed into the left knee. Gently pull the right thigh towards you. Feet remain flexed. Three deep breaths here. Just notice. Gently release your hands from your right thigh. Lower your right foot. Reach your arms above you in an easy cactus shape and allow yourself to twist towards the right this time. Left sole the foot lands on the earth, outer edge of the right thigh and the outer edge of the right knee land on the earth. Beautiful stretch to enjoy in the left hip glute area, left waist area. If you wish, turn your gaze to the left. Turn your gaze back to center. Draw your knees back to center. Untangle your legs. Soles of the feet land on the earth. Draw the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to fall out towards the side into Supta Baddha Konasana or Reclining Butterfly. Bring your arms from above your head to your navel. Left arm, left hand, Atop the belly button, right hand, atop the left hand. And just notice for a moment how you feel. Bring your hands to your heart. Left hand atop the heart, right hand atop the left hand. Press into that heart space. Send yourself some grace and compassion. A bit of lightness, a bit of fun, and a bit of ease as you approach whatever may come for the rest of the day.
Release your hands. Take them to the outer edges of your thighs. Draw your knees together. And extend your legs out long in front. Allow your toes to fall towards the outer edges of the mat. And allow your hands to rest by your sides, palms open towards the sky. We will come into Shavasana here, or final resting pose. Some call it a pose of complete surrender. Perhaps it's buoyance. Perhaps it's floating with ease, reacting, responding to whatever may be happening. Without worry, without tension, it's letting go. Send your attention to the heart space. Send it a bit of love and compassion as you allow yourself to relax here in this pose. And just to enjoy. Whatever may come up, let it fly in and fly out. Allow the earth or the water beneath to hold you. Allow your breath to do what it wishes. All on its own, no control, letting go. And allow yourself to just be and just enjoy. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And roll over to one side when you're ready. And just pause there. Thank yourself for choosing to come to yoga today. Thank the part of you that decided to take some time to nourish yourself, grow, restore, heal, and breathe. Notice how much more capacity you have to show up buoyant for the world today and in the week ahead. And thank yourself for giving yourself that gift. Press into your hands and slowly come up to a comfortable seat where we began. You can close your eyes if that works for you. Bring your hands back to your knees or thighs. Tilt your pelvis forward and slowly grow your spine towards the sky. Crown of the head reaches tall. And allow yourself to settle and land with grace where you are on your mat. Notice how you feel right here in this moment. And can you, with intention, bring this 
Shavasana-like feeling with you out into the world. Can you bring it to your interactions with your loved ones, your interactions with your work, your interactions with all the thoughts in your mind? Bring your hands to heart center, press your palms together, thumbs connect to the sternum and all finger pads press against one another with intention. Take an inhale into your chest and a long, sweet exhale. May you have a day filled with buoyancy, love, safety, wellness, curiosity, and exploration. Thank you all so much for joining me for yoga this morning. Please join again in future classes. And if you wish to explore any of this stuff further, please reach out. Have a beautiful day. May you all be well. Namaste.